Welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Hello, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. I wanted to end our year on a very positive note. So I actually have incorporated probably one of the most positive people I've had the pleasure of meeting. Tonight's special guest is Pastor Ruth Winfield, Executive Director, Women of Wisdom Cafe, Greensboro, North Carolina. Pastor Winfield, welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Thank you so much. Happy to be a part. Thank you for the invite. Absolutely. Now, Pastor Winfield, we are reaching out to you in Greensboro, North Carolina. Can you talk to our listeners about some of the great things that you're doing in Greensboro with your Women of Wisdom Cafe? Sure, happy to. Women of Wisdom Cafe, it actually originated, Craig, because I realized that 80% of the single households are made up of women. And we wanted to go ahead and set up a platform where women can jumpstart their own business to create multiple streams of income. And that's so important because whenever a woman cannot take care of her household and she's the headship, which that's not how God wanted it to be, but it happens, then there's some challenges within the home. And we do know that women by nature are emotional And so by them being able to manage and effectively support and take care of their home, now some may have help from outside sources, but there are some who don't. So multiple streams of income and getting them to the place where they can support their household can help them psychologically to maintain their home and to be able to meet the needs of their household as support the needs of their children as they grow up in a society that's pretty tough and it's not really easy. So multiple streams of income is the framework of why I set up Women of Wisdom Cafe. And we actually have courses on our website that they can go online and set up request webinars. And then we also promote the fact that if they do set up webinars and jumpstart their business, we also have a magazine that will support them through ads for one full year, which is a gift from us to them. Now, Pastor Winfield, I've known you for quite some time, and not only are you a dynamic pastor, but also a successful business person. How do you balance the two? Well, as a pastor, priority is ministering to God's people. That's priority, but then also on a practical level, I have to keep a calendar, not taking more on than I'm able to deliver on, keeping God first. And this helps eliminate some of the chaos, challenge, and conflicts that is so easy to run into. I allow the Lord, number one, is to order my steps in my life as I connect myself with Him through prayer and allow Him to give me my agenda. I work that agenda according to how he orders me to do so, so that balance is there so that I know what it is to be practical as well as spiritual. Now, Pastor Winfield, as I stated earlier, I wanted my last podcast of the year to uplift and inspire our listeners with all the problems besetting our community locally and nationally. Is there a a glimmer of hope that we can kind of cling to in this upcoming year? Wow, Craig, that's a good question. But let's look at hope. Hope is an expectation for something great to happen in our lives. It's beyond our ability in most cases to make it happen on our own. So we have to have a trust in a reliable source that has the wherewithal to produce what it is we desire. And that's where our faith kicks in. And so you cannot put your trust in something or someone that doesn't have the ability to deliver what it is you desire. And we have many people hoping in their jobs, hoping in other sources, instead of focusing on the source that can bring everything they need into their life. And once they focus on that source, then of course their faith will be applied to what it is they desire. And no question, he is the one that can meet their needs and bring them through on the other side. So we have to always recognize what is the object of our faith? Who are we believing in? Who are we trusting in? Because it has to be the right thing. It has to be the right person. And if we put our trust in God, and I know some say this, well, Pastor Ruth, you know, I've been trusting, I've been trusting, it hasn't happened. 
I'm going through this, I'm going through that and the other. And that's true. And that's why faith is important because when you're in faith, you don't doubt his ability. You know the ability of the one that you put your trust in. So if you're not winning, that means it's not over because it's not over until you win because he is the unstoppable only person that you could put your trust in and know that on the other side, you're going to come out great. You're going to come out better than great. As a matter of fact, people are going to look at your life and say, now, I know he didn't get that on his own. I know she didn't get that on, on their own. And that's what we call a testimony, that in our wilderness experience, we can trust and believe in God, and he will leave us with an undeniable testimony that will sustain us from any present difficulty. So with that said, I'll say this. There is hope, but make sure that your faith is applied in the right area. And then also this, if you haven't won yet, it's not over because God always ends on a positive and never a negative. There is hope. Now, Pastor, one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on today was because I wanted people to really see that when I need guidance and that glimmer of hope, that you just talked about. I can always rely on you for that. And I am so grateful to have you in my life. Now, your twin sister is also a minister. Is that something that both of you were interested in at an early age or did this calling develop over time? Of course, yes, I have a twin and she's a minister and both of us know you quite well. So I can say this to you. Let me say it this way. When you yield your life to Christ, Christ assigns you places in the kingdom so that you can function as an example for others to see and that you can grow in him and he will strengthen your position that he calls you to. Now, of course, pastoring is a call of God and it's made of the five-fold ministry. But I want to say this first. When God chooses us and he calls us, he justifies us. He gives us right standing in him and he gives us his glory so that we can't get puffed up, big headed and act like what you see is all of us. No, we're operating in his glory. We're functioning in his ability and his wherewithal and not our own. So no one can get the credit for the gift that he pours inside of us and the glory that he puts on our life. It's his anointing. He can put it on you and take it off of you whenever he gets ready. So I'm very careful not to say, oh, I'm anointed. No, that anointing belongs to God. And then Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 and 12, it talks about the fivefold ministry. To some, he give apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And these gifts are designed to equip the saints, to give them the word that they need, where they are in their life, as they grow in him spiritually and understand where it is he's calling them to and recognizing his voice to be able to do what it is that he wants to do in them and through them. And the real key here is that they accept the challenge by faith and walk on the path or the journey that he set before them. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. It doesn't matter the time, nor the place, the conditions, or transitions, doesn't matter. Who you are, or who you're with. Before, now, and always. Through all phases of life, Duquesne Light Company is here for you. Kids are curious. That's what being a kid is all about. But with that curiosity comes challenges and sometimes dangers. As a parent, you do your best to keep them safe, healthy, and happy through it all. So they can be, well, kids. Being a kid can be hard. So we do everything we can to help you be the best parent you can be with free or low-cost health coverage for all Pennsylvania kids. Learn more at chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Port Authority has a new name, Pittsburgh Regional Transit, PRT for short. It's all about doing an even better job of getting people where they want to go every day. It's also about getting people where they want to go in their careers. 
PRT is looking for some new faces. We're hiring for every position. We offer great pay and benefits and a direct route to a great future. Go to ridepr.org slash careers. PRT is an equal opportunity employer. Looking for a cost-effective way to help increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcasts, and Soul Pit television options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, contact Craig Dawson at 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. And let Soul Pit Media take you to that next level. UPMC is committed to addressing the health disparities that disproportionately impact African Americans in our communities. By driving education, training, and programming, and building relationships with our community partners, we can ensure that all individuals and families have access to the preventive care, screenings, and treatment that can lead to healthier lives. Learn more at upmc.com slash health disparities. Yeah, who's this? Don Stogie, it's me, Nick the Nub. Hey, my boy, what you got for me? Boss, I got the bundle on some bad news about your best customer, Sammy Sticks. What, sleeping with the fishes? Nah, he's still with Wanda, but he's been hurting with the Cigar Fathers. The Cigar Fathers? Nah, boss, Cigar Fathers, you know. Friendly, knowledgeable staff, live outdoor patio jams, and a wide selection of cigars and cigar accessories. Oh, how do you know so much about this place? Well, boss, because I've been coming back all week. What? Hey, I'm sorry, Don Stogie, but with everything Cigar Fathers is offering, I couldn't refuse. With a ramped-up commitment to investing in local Black-owned businesses, Duquesne Light Company, in partnership with the new Pittsburgh Courier, presents Small Business Spotlight, powered by DLC. Published twice per month, the Small Business Spotlight profiles two Black-owned businesses and provides each of them with a free quarter-page ad to promote their business. Do you know a business that should be featured? Visit NewPittsburghCourier.com forward slash small business spotlight for more information. The future of transit is now and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. Portauthority.org. Kids are curious. That's what being a kid is all about. But with that curiosity comes challenges and sometimes dangers. As a parent, you do your best to keep them safe, healthy, and happy through it all. So they can be, well, kids. Being a kid can be hard. So we do everything we can to help you be the best parent you can be with free or low-cost health coverage for all Pennsylvania kids. Learn more at chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Do you like entertainment that provides diverse programming? Well, there's a new radio station that provides exactly that. Yes, Pittsburgh's diverse sports and entertainment network provides a mixed radio format and is the place for soulful music, sports talk, and lifestyle programming. Check us out at pghdsen.com. You'll be able to find our radio schedule with all of our exciting entertainment programs. Listen now by going to pghdsen.com. The Frick Pittsburgh invites you to join its creative team. Become part of a talented team of employees who daily draw inspiration from the Frick's world-class art exhibitions, rich local history, and beautiful grounds and gardens. Located on Penn Avenue in Point Breeze, the Frick welcomes all to enjoy a wide range of authentic experiences with art, history, and nature year-round. If you'd like to find your passion, and are ready to take that next step, visit thefrickpittsburgh.org forward slash employment and apply for one of the part-time or full-time opportunities listed today. 
Did you know that STD rates have increased in Allegheny County? No, I did not. Yeah, especially for people under 30. Mm, maybe I should go get tested. In Allegheny County, symptomatic syphilis cases increased by 97% and gonorrhea cases by 18% in the past year. And having multiple STDs increases your chances of getting HIV. Oh, wow. Do you know where I can go get tested? The Public Health Clinic offers free walk-in STD and HIV screening located at 1908 Wiley Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. 15219. It looks like I know what I'm doing tomorrow, getting tested, and I'll make sure to spread the word. For more information, call 412-578-8081 or visit AlleghenyCounty.us forward slash HIV. We're back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Now, Pastor, it seems as if some segments of our community have given up on our youth. I will never do that. I feel that if I can save one child who can save another and that one save another, then we are on the path to doing what our community really needs. What advice can you give our younger listeners to let them know that they can do things the right way and still be successful? You know, when we look at generation after generation, you know, we are the baby boomers, generation X, generation Y, and then Gen Z, and all of them look at life from a different perspective. But when we talk about, but one thing stands for sure when we speak of any youth, any person, and that is this, that don't ever cheat yourself, meaning that in life, you have to work for everything that you get. And in us taking the right steps as younger people to do it the right way, there is so much we learn along the way in that path of development and growth. And so all of that we take and we allow ourselves to grow from the inside out. In business, it's made up of transactions and connections. We know that. But we have to be fair in our exchange even when we're young. And our young people need to know that in spite of what the circumstances, conditions, or challenges may be, as baby boomers, we've had challenges as well. They may be a little bit different than what it is of this generation, but the challenges are designed for you to work through your journey in life and find out what works and what doesn't work, and you push forward. So I was speaking to a young lady just the other day over the holidays, and she's going into a field of medicine. I'll just keep it at that. And she was saying to me that she started out at a community college, and she somehow felt like, well, I'm not at a university, but I started a community college. And I had to let her know that that's great, because at least at a community college, you have the support of your parents. And you're learning how to stand on your own, even though you have the training wheels, you're standing on your own because you have a generation. Now, this young lady is 18 years old. She's going into medicine and you're starting at a community college. But the good news is that if you start at a university, you're looking for a support system that you don't know anybody there. But when you make your beginnings at a community college and you have the support of your family where you can go backwards and forwards until you branch out into a university, then your challenge from that point on, you're more equipped simply because if you don't have friends that understand you, you have your two-year community college and you know what it is to have support. And you can look at those that come and draw nigh you and determine whether or not they're real or fake so that you can find yourself surrounded by the right support system. And then even if you're unable to go back, go to the university right away, you can work on case studies, you know, finding the right thing to do with your time at the right time is key for young people. And don't look for stuff that doesn't promote your growth and increase your character and integrity. Always look for the things that are going to build your success and move you forward in life. And so that's what I mean when I say don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself out of what you desire, what you deserve, but also keep your integrity because whatever you wish from others to do for you, you need to do for them as well. And some say character is who you are when no one's looking, but also character is being able to look an individual in their face that done you wrong 
and still do them right. And young people will say, well, how is that beneficial to me? Because the truth of the matter is, is that doing things the wrong way brings penalties. And in Proverbs 10 and 9, it says, when you walk in integrity, you walk securely. You don't have any weights on you pulling you down because you know you've done things the right way. But he that makes his ways crooked will be found out. There will be penalties. So don't cheat yourself. Always walk in steps that you know you're going to win without any future penalties. Add it to your life so that if you do come across a circumstance that makes you stumble or fumble, it's just growing pain. It's going to allow you to grow up better, grow up stronger, grow up with the mindset that God brought me out of this. He can bring me out of that. So character always wins. And the Bible says in Psalms 27, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So the source that God gives all of us, because he didn't put us here for us to think that we have to make it on our own. He came here and walked the earth in human form to show us how to live this life as a human being and became an example for us. So if we stay in righteousness, you will never beg bread because he will provide your needs wherever he lands you or wherever he's taking you. It's a journey. And always keep your character, always keep your integrity, and always take steps that brings development and growth. And remember, ye that is not for me is against me. Have rules in your life that sets a framework that builds boundaries so that the right people are let in and the people that doesn't need to be there, it's okay to dismiss them too. You can dismiss them because if they're not adding to you, then they're subtracting. And it goes both ways you add to each other. So don't cheat yourself, but don't cheat anyone else either. Very wise words. I feel so blessed to be able to reach out to you in my own times of personal growth and times of need. How can someone reach out to you to get the knowledge and wisdom and the business savvy to make it today? Could you please let our listeners know how they can reach out to you? Absolutely. They can go to my website at PastorRuthWinfield.org or go to the website WomenOfWisdomCafe.org. Either way, they'll reach me. Every Wednesday, I have a prayer call that I'm on 6 a.m. for the past almost six years. I'm on a prayer call every Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. praying for people who they may go to church, they may not go to church. I'm praying for families. I'm, par- I'm praying for things that are happening across this country. And so if they want to go ahead and get in on the prayer call, it's every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. It only lasts about 15 minutes. So therefore, you're not on there forever. But if you're not on there on time, you're going to miss it. So you can go ahead and reach us at 712-451-0267. Again, that's 712 712- Four five one zero two six seven, and the access code is nine seven eight one six three, followed by the pound sign. Again, that's nine seven eight one six three, followed by the pound sign. And we're there for you. Our hearts are open to you, and we have a team that's on there that will get your prayer request, and they will give that to me. And of course, I'm your host of the call, and I would love to be there for you. I would love to. Stand in the gap for you, stand in the gap for your family, and stand in the gap for your personal needs, because none of us can make it through this life without prayer, without being connected to the creator who put all of you together and told us, let's go in this earth and live. Absolutely. Very wise words. And I just wanted our listeners to know who I go to in times of need. And you've always been a great friend and a dynamic pastor. I mean, if you don't feel it after listening to you, then you're not going to feel it. (laughs) I have, you know, had the honor of witnessing you. You've been a very dear and lifelong friend. And I wanted our listeners in Pittsburgh to know that distance is only a phone call or email away and that you're doing some great things in Greensboro, but we don't want to just limit it to Greensboro. Definitely looking at having you on our show again and 
much success for what you're doing down in Greensboro. And thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us today and have a happy and blessed new year. You as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Craig. And my heart goes out to Soul Pit Media. You all keep doing great things. And anytime that you would need me, just to reach out, you know that I am available for you as well. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. It doesn't matter. The time, nor the place. The conditions, or transitions doesn't matter who you are or who you're with before now and always through all phases of life duquesne light company is here for you kids are curious that's what being a kid is all about but with that curiosity comes challenges and sometimes dangers As a parent, you do your best to keep them safe, healthy, and happy through it all. So they can be, well, kids. Being a kid can be hard. So we do everything we can to help you be the best parent you can be with free or low-cost health coverage for all Pennsylvania kids. Learn more at chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Port Authority has a new name. Pittsburgh Regional Transit, PRT for short. It's all about doing an even better job of getting people where they want to go every day. It's also about getting people where they want to go in their careers. PRT is looking for some new faces. We're hiring for every position. We offer great pay and benefits and a direct route to a great future. Go to ridept.org slash careers. PRT is an equal opportunity employer. Looking for a cost-effective way to help increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcasts, and Soul Pit television options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, contact Craig Dawson at 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. And let Soul Pit Media take you to that next level. UPMC is committed to addressing the health disparities that disproportionately impact African Americans in our communities. By driving education, training, and programming, and building relationships with our community partners, we can ensure that all individuals and families have access to the preventive care, screenings, and treatment that can lead to healthier lives. Learn more at upmc.com slash health disparities. Don Stogie, it's me, Nick the Nub. Thank you, my boy. What you got for me? Boss, I got the bundle on some bad news about your best customer, Sammy Sticks. What, sleeping with the fishes? Nah, he's still with Wanda, but he's been herfing with the Cigar Fathers. The Cigar Fathers? Nah, boss, Cigar Fathers, you know. Friendly, knowledgeable staff, live outdoor patio jams, and a wide selection of cigars and cigar accessories. Oh, how do you know so much about this place? Well, boss, because I've been coming back all week. What? Hey, I'm sorry, Don Stogie, but with everything Cigar Fathers is offering, I couldn't refuse. With a ramped up commitment to investing in local black owned businesses, Duquesne Light Company in partnership with the new Pittsburgh Courier presents Small Business Spotlight powered by DLC. Published twice per month, the Small Business Spotlight profiles two black owned businesses and provides each of them with a free quarter page ad to promote their business. Do you know a business that should be featured? Visit newpittsburghcourier.com forward slash small business spotlight for more information. The future of transit is now and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. Portauthority.org. Kids are curious. That's what being a kid is all about. But with that curiosity comes challenges and sometimes dangers. As a parent, you do your best to keep them safe, healthy, and happy through it all. So they can be, well, 
Kids, being a kid can be hard. So we do everything we can to help you be the best parent you can be with free or low-cost health coverage for all Pennsylvania kids. Learn more at chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Do you like entertainment that provides diverse programming? Well, there's a new radio station that provides exactly that. Yes, Pittsburgh's diverse sports and entertainment network provides a mixed radio format and is the place for soulful music, sports talk, and lifestyle programming. Check us out at pghdsen.com. You'll be able to find our radio schedule with all of our exciting entertainment programs. Listen now by going to pghdsen.com. The Frick Pittsburgh invites you to join its creative team. Become part of a talented team of employees who daily draw inspiration from the Frick's world-class art exhibitions, rich local history, and beautiful grounds and gardens. Located on Penn Avenue in Point Breeze, the Frick welcomes all to enjoy a wide range of authentic experiences with art, history, and nature year-round. If you'd like to find your passion and are ready to take that next step, visit the frickpittsburgh.org forward slash employment and apply for one of the part-time or full-time opportunities listed today. Did you know that STD rates have increased in Allegheny County? No, I did not. Yeah, especially for people under 30. Mm, maybe I should go get tested. In Allegheny County, symptomatic syphilis cases increased by 97% and gonorrhea cases by 18% in the past year. And having multiple STDs increases your chances of getting HIV. Oh, wow. Do you know where I can go get tested? The Public Health Clinic offers free walk-in STD and HIV screening located at 1908 Wiley Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. 15219. It looks like I know what I'm doing tomorrow, getting tested, and I'll make sure to spread the word. For more information, call 412-578-8081 or visit AlleghenyCounty.us forward slash HIV. We're back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Hi, this is Debbie Norell, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report community calendar. The holiday season isn't complete without a visit to Phipps. Now until January 8th, Holiday Magic, Winter Flower Show, and Light Garden will return to Phipps Glowing Gardens. Phipps has pulled out all the stops for this year's Winter Flower Show with magnificent new displays of holiday trees, topiaries, and exquisitely detailed props and their signature floral delights, including orchids and more than 1,600 poinsettias. Plus, the beauty isn't just indoors. Their celebrated winter light garden fills the outdoor and discovery gardens with spectacular lights and vivid shades that will awe and inspire. Don't miss it. Join the team at City Charter High for a rewarding career. If you are looking for a unique opportunity working in an innovative school that's focused on student learning and success, then this is the place for you. This is your chance to become a part of a school designed from the ground up with students as the focus. Visit cityhigh.org and join their staff for a list of opportunities. Justice Works Youth Care is seeking motivated individuals ready to begin an exciting career working directly with youth and families. Justice Works Youth Care embodies the heart and head of human service. They make a positive difference for children and families. Contact them at justiceworksjobs.com. Our transit system has a new name, but it's more than a new name and look. It's a new direction and a new attitude. It's about working harder to improve the way that they serve every rider every day. It's about recommitting to the basics of transit even as they move into the future. It's about providing riders clean, safe, comfortable, friendly, and reliable service. The new name and brand are the result of a multi-year process that included extensive consumer and community research and collaboration with everyday riders across the region. Quite simply, 
the Pittsburgh region has evolved. The city is fast becoming a world leader in technologies that define the cutting edge. A clear, concise name for Pittsburgh's regional transit system was overdue. Our transit system is now Pittsburgh Regional Transit, PRT, and they are dedicated to providing the level of service riders expect and deserve. Thank you for listening to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, brought to you by Pittsburgh Regional Transit. Looking for a great job with benefits? Check out their website, ridept.org slash careers. Thank you for tuning in to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for your continued support.